Okay, I'm going to talk to you about the nitrogen cycle, which is pretty much just for higher students. So let me show you how it works. Now the nitrogen cycle just shows us how nitrogen uh, is moved throughout different stores. On Earth, nitrogen is never created or destroyed. It's just moved from one place or one store to the other. So um, I'm going to show you how it's moved around. And I'm also going to show you about the four different types of bacteria that are involved in the nitrogen cycle as well. So I think it's best just to go step by step. So in the atmosphere, 78% of our atmosphere is comprised of nitrogen. Now, unlike the carbon cycle, where there's just one thing that removes carbon from the atmosphere, there's several things, there's three things, in fact, uh, or three different places where nitrogen is removed from the atmosphere. So we're going to be introduced to our first type of bacteria. So our first type of bacteria is called nitrogen fixing bacteria. So whenever we have nitrogen fixing, the word fixing means removing nitrogen from the atmosphere. So we're taking it from the atmosphere and we have nitrogen fixing bacteria which are in the soil and we also have nitrogen fixing bacteria which are in the roots of these plants. So there's our first type of bacteria we need to know about, okay? Nitrogen fixing bacteria. So there's another way and another exciting way that nitrogen gets removed from the atmosphere during lightning. So lightning provides so much energy, provides so much energy that the nitrogen in the air reacts with the oxygen in the air. So oxygen comprises 21% of the Earth's atmosphere. So when we have a huge flash of lightning like this, it provides enough energy for the nitrogen to react with the oxygen to produce nitrates. Okay, so notice how there's three different, three different kind of routes for nitrogen to be removed from the atmosphere, two of which are by nitrogen fixing bacteria in different places. So these nitrates, let's think about what can happen to them. They could be taken up by the plants through the plant's roots because nitrates actually allow or help plants to grow. So that's again how the nitrogen has moved from here to here. Again, the whole cycle is just showing how nitrogen moves around. Now next up, let's think about where it can go from the plant. Now I've done it, drawn it as a tree here, but this could just be any, um, any plant at all, okay? Now here is my beautiful drawing of an animal, okay? So I can see here that by eating this plant, by eating this plant, the nitrogen has been transferred from the plant into this animal here, okay? So, what happens next? Now, we're gonna think about what could happen to these, uh, these things here. So, the animal and the plants can die and they can decompose. And they produce, when they decompose, they produce this nasty substance called ammonia. Sorry, ammonia. So what breaks them down? Now we're gonna be introduced to our next type of bacteria, which are called decomposers. Now what decomposers do is they, um, decomposers allow um, plants and animals to be broken down into ammonia, ammonia. So they break things down. They allow things to decompose. So we've now got this ammonia. What can happen to that ammonia? Okay, I'm going to introduce you to the third type of bacteria we need to know about, which is called nitrifying bacteria. Okay, so what nitrifying bacteria does is it converts ammonia into nitrates. Think of the term nitrifying making nitrates. So again, we could see the transition from the of the nitrogen from ammonia to nitrates with our third type of bacteria. So we have nearly finished. The only thing at the moment we can see is there's nothing at all at the moment which is returning any nitrogen to the atmosphere. So our last type of bacteria we need to know about is denitrifying bacteria. So it denitrifies. Now the idea of that is we start off with a nitrate and because we, we have denitrifying bacteria, we no longer have nitrates, and this returns the nitrogen into the atmosphere. 
Notice how there's only one thing that's returning the nitrogen to the atmosphere. So finally, let's have a quick recap because we need to know about the four different um, types of bacteria. So type number one is our nitrogen fixing bacteria that we find in the soil and we also find in the plant roots. Number two are our decomposers. So remember, these help to break down dead plants and dead animals, and in fact, urea as well, so waste products um, from these as well, into ammonia. Number three, our third type of bacteria, is nitrifying bacteria. What nitrifying bacteria do is they turn ammonia into nitrates. Think of nitrifying, making nitrates. And our final type, number four, our denitrifying bacteria. Returns, uh, the nit returns nitrogen to the atmosphere by, um, by, yeah, by, from nitrates to the atmosphere, denitrifying bacteria. So the best way to learn this is just to keep drawing it and practicing it and make sure you just think one step at a time. How do I get around? Remember, there's three different things that remove nitrogen from the atmosphere, only one that returns nitrogen to the atmosphere, and there's four types of bacteria. Thank you.